Hello, and welcome back to Hunter Call of the Wild. Did I already get a... Sorry, I thought I saw a call... Uh, a call notification. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we are continuing to try to level up our character. We are currently... What are we right now? We're level 8. And we're trying to just work ourselves up to where we can get uh, various weapons and cool stuff like that. I think what we're working on right now is trying to get the 7mm, but we already have that. I just need the money for it. Like, I think this is a, it says it's a premium color variation. So I think I either got this with a DLC or it was, it's another, like the two, I, I know the 270 Stradivarius was unlocked by some kind of community event. I don't really know. I wasn't there for it. But maybe this is another one of those things. But anyways, we need a 1500 to unlock the other one but this is already unlocked we just need to get the cash for it and then once we get that we will have the seven millimeter rounds which will pretty much get us everything that we need four to nine everything from four all the way up to nine and it's got a 40 penetration with the polymer tip or the yeah the polymer tips there versus our 270 which has a 35 so you know it's a little bit better but to get to that, we have to make enough money, which means we need to we need to continue completing quests and stuff like that. So we need to harvest three black-tailed deer. We need to find one more bear to get some droppings, uh, dropping analysis on, and then, you know, just looking for deer. So I think what I'm going to do right now, I'm up here at this High Lake Lodge. Um, did any of those require? Yeah, I need to be in Black in, in uh, Balmont for the black-tailed deer here. So I'm probably gonna quick travel back down there. Uh, what way? What direction is the wind blowing? It's coming in from the south. So I'm gonna go as far south as I can go, and hopefully the wind doesn't change on me again. I'm gonna go to this one. I'll head up north and see if we can find. Oh, you know what? One of my viewers mentioned something about a lake that I can go to, but I don't. I don't remember where it is. I don't remember what they said to where it, I don't remember where they said it was and I yeah. Sorry. I'll try to remember to look it up before I start next time again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to head off in this direction and hopefully we find some deer and some bear droppings. That would be nice. Asking ye shall receive. We got some white tail right over here. I'm going to um I'm going to try to get within range. I'm going to try to get a quick kill on that male that's over there. Okay. So I'm going to walk until we get... I'm going to walk until we get to the bushes here. Then I'll crouch. Because I don't want to spook them. I definitely don't want to spook them. But I don't want them to start wandering off either. Where is it? can't see it from here so I think I might have to go all the way around the bush here because I'm not able to see them through the bush what is this hey there's our bear droppings all right and that puts us 2500 cash closer to our seven mil okay are they still over here I don't remember exactly where they were when I saw them. I've lost my situational awareness. Uh, there they are. Okay, so we got one there, one there, one there. They're all about the same, so I'm going to do the one that gives me the easiest to see. Oh, am, I in the, am I in the right weapon? Okay, I just want to make sure I have the, the correct weapon selected. crap i got greedy <laughs> i got greedy i thought was, the whole point of having the scope the the no loss of scope reload is so that you can try to shoot two things but the recoil is just so insane that i'm i don't get a chance to zero back in I, i'm sure that's a skill thing i'm sure that's a, a skill problem on my part but i'll get i'll get there i'll get there eventually so did he give us a new... A client would like a pelt... Okay, so we just gotta kill a bear, I guess. And I guess we have to go to Mount Kraken to get it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Seems like it should be a pretty quick kill. 
So, okay, so it's the cash one that gives me that. I had, I had asked before about uh, the quick kill bonus. We got 100%, so, yeah. Weapon score of 50 out of that. I can live with that. Oh, I should have checked where the... Hmm. Got a meat export client that is in need of a large amount of deer meat and that quick. Harvest two white-tailed deer weighing at least 154 pounds. Okay. So, we did level up. Let's go ahead. I think this time we're getting a perk, right? We don't get a skill point. It's every other level. So we got a perk. I'm not sure what to take. Um, I went ahead and took the running reload, but I don't think there's anything else in the handgun part that I want. I mean, I'd like to have that. Decreased reload. Well, I mean, I guess that doesn't really matter. How often am I going to run into reload situations? You should be reloading between, hunt between animals or between spots. <clears throat> I don't think I need... I mean, that would be nice, but again, it doesn't really need it. The shotgun doesn't have anything I particularly care about, so let's stick with the rifle. Increases ready speed after firing. Oh, I think this would. This right here is going to um, do exactly what I wanted. Muscle memory. Steady hands. Decrease wobble. Hmm. I think I'm going to focus on these three for perks for the next several levels, for the next however many perks I get. Because I want to be ready for shots faster, so I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and take the second level of this next. I read about this online, but they said it doesn't really actually make that much of a difference. So, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, we're at level 9 now, and we have 25,000. We need 36,000, I think, for the thing, for the, <clears throat> for the, uh, my brain just stopped. But the 7 mil. Anyways, I'm going to keep looking around and see if we can find the next thing that we need. Okay, I ended up deciding to come up here to uh, Mount Kraken. I am on my way up to the lookout point here. I want to unlock it, but since we're passing by this already, we might as well grab it. Got ourselves a nice little outpost up here. Um, I do have to, I need to find coyotes up here and I need to kill a black bear up here. So I decided, you know, as much as I don't particularly care for location specific stuff, I might as well start getting on that because I'm I mean, I imagine I'm still gonna be able to find black tail and white tail up here somewhere. Right. So let's just keep going, getting the specific location stuff knocked out. So that way we're removing as much of that as possible. And then we're just going to keep going up here and hop up on top of the tower, get the lookout point. Let's see. Can you tell I played too many racing games? <laughs> uh, I'm always in a hurry. There it is. I was gonna, I was gonna cut the video, but it's like I'm, I'm, I know I'm right, like right there. So we'll hop over here. Oh, there's a there's a moose. Probably not gonna be able to get it, but that's okay. Ah, it's a little too high. I thought I could get it in, but it just didn't work out for me. I think we hit it, but I don't think we kill. I don't think we got it. A moose there. Should be some droppings. There should be some blood over here somewhere, though. I mean, I think I, I'm pretty sure I hit it. I just don't think we dropped it. Let's see. There's some tracks here. There's some blood. Very low. Um, I'm gonna let's climb the tower. We'll climb the tower if some hunting pressure pops up. Cool. If not, I'm gonna fast travel back to the lot, back to the outpost, and start wandering around and see what I can pick up. Or maybe I'll maybe I'll just continue from here because the wind's blowing in from the south, so I'd end up having to come back north anyway. Anyways, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna leave, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave you guys here so that we walk we can walk up the tower and get the nice cool thing 
And then I will cut to whatever comes next. The nice thing about having nice tall towers is that you get a great view. The bad thing is you gotta climb the tower. And even in a video game, it exhausts me. Okay, here we go. Nice pretty view. Get some experience points. And then, yeah. Mount Kraken peaks at over 6,500 feet and is one of the highest in the nearby region. It, this is the home of our local black bear population, and we're very careful about keeping outposts and lookout towers free of food scraps so as not to attract any bears. Oh, and should you check and you should check out the famous rope bridge while you're here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go look for some bears, I guess, because this is supposed to be prime bear territory. So I will let you know when I have something to shoot at. Okay, well, sorry I didn't get you in on the shot, but I had some, I had a herd of deer running from right to left over here, and I actually got a moving shot on it, so hunting pressure immediately came up. I'm guessing we got a really good one. I have no idea the size or anything. I had to move fast before they ran off, but uh, we'll see what we got as soon as I find the blood trail. Oh, there's a bear trail. Oh, there it is. He went down quick. So, uh, I don't, how much did it weigh? 168? I think that was high enough for the for the weight that we needed. Oh, I got a double lung shot. Yeah, because I, I led him, I led him at like the very front part because he was running, he was like trotting. So I wanted to make sure I got him. I, I guess that was a good lead for the speed that he was running. All right, cool. I can live with that. Let's give you a new challenge now, 150 meters. Harvest a white tail down from at least, I'm confused. Did we just change our... Did we just change our mission, or did it... Because he wanted us to do... Okay. I thought he wanted us to kill two deer that were at least that big. So we just need to get it from at least 164 yards away. Whatever. I can live with that. Whatever. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... um. Well, first I'm going to come over here and go to that and see what that is. And then I'm just going to go north along the thing because that's the, the wind is coming in from the south. So I'll bring you guys back in once I have something to actually look at. Looks like we got ourselves another information point. So we'll grab this and then I'm going to head north along the water. If you're lucky, you may find the western skunk cabbage growing around here. While some consider the plant to be a weed, its roots are food for bears who eat it after hibernating as a laxative. The, plants, the plant was used by indigenous people as medicine for burns and injuries and as food in times of famine when almost all parts were eaten. Okay. Very cool. Well, I'm going to take, my, uh, I'm gonna take myself up this way to try to see if we can come across anything interesting. I will bring you back when there's something to look at. Oh, never mind. We got something to look at right now. Got some moose over here. They're already close enough that I want to sneak. Funny how that works, huh? It's just getting ready to transition. We got moose. Oh, where'd they go? It's calm. All right, well, I'm not going to make you watch me. So, well, yeah, I'm not going to make you watch me sneak up. I'll cut this little part out. Okay, well, we're well within the range. I'd rather go after the male, but uh, let's... Well, no, he's he's up. I don't need to alert him. I got a better shot on this one, and I'm not really worried about trophy right now, so... That should have been okay. Generally, right behind the shoulder on any of these animals is pretty good, I think. So, well, maybe not. I think if I had hit vital stuff, it would have immediately come up with some hunting pressure, but I'm not getting any. Maybe I was too low. Let's see if we can find some blood. And we'll decide what to do after that. But I don't, I don't know. The fact that it didn't instant. 
because uh, my understanding is is that it, if you get if you get a, a kill shot a, vi a vital kill shot it will instantly pop up with hunting pressure because it's gonna die uh i really i keep forgetting you can mark you can uh mark a mark oh we got did we get hunting pressure we did all right so we got it so the shot was over we need to get into the center of this hunting pressure here the shot was over here and they ran off that way so it took a little bit for that hunting pressure to come up i am gonna go and see if i can find it but uh yeah i'll bring you back when i find it <laughs> got a warning call from a coyote over here where is he See him. Don't see him. He's barking. The sound said it was in this direction. Oh. There he is. Okay. Try to get him before he runs away. Crap. It's a tree in the way. Couldn't tell that the tree was there. That really sucks. Yeah, he's gone. Damn it. I mean, that's that's one of the two. That would have been one of the two that we needed. But anyways, the, the moose that we killed is right over here. So that's good. Oh, well. Wasted an ammo on a tree. So what did we shoot? Yeah, we got it. We got it right in the lung. Yeah, we just we need to get that seven mil. That's just kind of the long and the short of it. I know we don't need it, but if I want to get nice quick kills like I want, then yeah, we 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 need to get the we need to get that seven mil. It's gonna make our life a lot easier. So I can carry around the 7 mil for this stuff. The 240, I think the 243 ammo is good for, what is my inventory? I think the 243 ammo is good for, yeah, two. To, so I can use a 243 for smaller stuff, deer, that kind of stuff. And then I can use the 7 mil for the big stuff because it'll have better, slightly better penetration. Yeah. And then I'll have my 22 for that. So anyways, um, I ended up coming back into Belmont to track that. So I think what I'll do is I'll fast travel back to the thing here again. And then do what I said I was going to do. Head over to the water and then go north. And hopefully not get distracted. Well, it's not really a, a distraction. It's a, you know, we got to kill. That's what we're trying to do here. But <laughs> I guess that's the as, I guess that's the best uh, way to make it go. If you're going to get distracted, get distracted by things that you're going to hunt. So anyways... I will be back when I have another thing to shoot. Hopefully it'll be a bear or a coyote. Okay, we got some deer over here in a rest zone. I'm trying to get far enough away that I can get a decent chance at completing the mission that we have to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up far enough away that hopefully I'm at least 100 and some odd yards away. And then we'll see if we can get these guys. I'm gonna have them. I'm gonna try to get them to. Uh, this, I'm getting really screwed over with the terrain here. Because if I can get them to stand up with the 22, okay. Hopefully we're far enough away at this point. Oh, you... Okay, I can't get any further away. Hopefully this is enough. So I'll shoot off to the side with the 22. Hopefully they don't run. Okay. 
Okay. And yes, okay, so we got him, so hopefully it's just far enough away. I will bring you back when we have actually tracked him down. Okay, so... Jeez, man, this was the most ridiculous thing I've had so far in this game, and I'll explain to you why. We shot this deer right over in this area. Okay, so I ran over here, found a blood trail, and started following the blood trail, and it's like, why is this deer coming back this way? It makes no sense. Turns out, you know that moose that we shot earlier that I didn't end up killing? Yeah, it ended up dying over here. It's over here somewhere. I'll come back and follow the trail after I get this deer. But I ended up coming all the way down here before I realized, oh, I'm tracking a moose right now. What the... <laughs> So here we are up here. We got our deer. I, and I had to, like, trail around for a while to find his path going this way because he didn't leave a track. So how far did we get him? How far away was he? Uh, where's the shooting distance? I don't remember. I don't, uh, nope, not far enough. Oh, well. That's okay. At least we got the money out of it. So I guess I'm going to go back over here and track down this other moose. That decided it was going to cross. Like, what's it, what are the odds that a moose that we shot a long time ago eventually bleeds across the path of a deer that we're hunting right now, and then leads me astray because I think it's I think it's what I just shot. Like, it literally bled not very far away from where we shot the deer. So I assumed, oh, it must have ran in that direction for a minute, and then you know. But I don't know. So I'm going to go find that blood trail from the moose, follow that until I find the moose so that we can get the money and the rifle score from it. So, because, you know, we spent the ammo on it, we might as well get the credit for it. So I will be back when I have the moose. And I think that'll probably be it for this hunt because I'm kind of frustrated after all of that. Well, I wasn't going after deer, but uh, I went, I stopped to go to the bathroom and then I came and while I was going to the bathroom, I heard... <laughs> So, you know, out of nowhere, I got a free deer because I came back and I started slowly looking around and oh man, less than 100 yards away, a deer, three deer standing right there. So there we go. Got him right in a double lung shot with the 243. I can live with that. That's some more money and rifle score. And I don't think I had to give up my tracking for my moose, right? Am I still... Crap. I think I lost the tracking of my moose. Did I? Oh, no. I think it's still over here. So, I don't know. The, the moose... It's, the hunting pressure, pressure showed up, but I've lost the trail of the moose. I am going to look around a little more to see if maybe I can pick it back up again. Come on. Get up here. Because I was... How did I end up over there? I don't remember. I was ranging around trying to find another track, but... I don't know. This this whole moose thing is very weird because we shot that thing over by some water, right? Like a long time ago. Ooh, there's a black bear. Oh, hold on. Binoculars. So if we can kill a bear... Okay, uh, I guess I'm going to take another break to stalk this bear. Uh, but the wind, the wind is really not in my favor. I'm going to head over this direction, see if I can see him, and then try to shoot him. But the fact that the wind is blowing in that direction, he no doubt is running away. I'm almost certain. But I'll do it anyway. I'm going to head over here and see if I can find him. He like ran right at me. I shot him in the head, I think. Maybe I didn't have time to get the record the record thing up. I don't I don't think we killed him. It said no organs just now. I thought I got him in the head, but he was like sprinting at me, and so I felt like I had to shoot him because I didn't know if he was gonna attack me or what was going on. Maybe I can catch him out in the open and get put another bullet in him. Ran off this way. Uh, nah, he's not going to go out in the open for me. Alright, well, I'll track him down for a while, but... I don't know. 
he was like he was literally he came over the hill and, and was sprinting at me and then all of a sudden he stopped and i was like uh what do i do now <laughs> So, I'll follow his tracks for a little bit, see what happens, but I don't think so. Got another warning call right here. This time the wind's not killing me, so I don't know if it's the same bear or... What the deal is. I see some blood, so it's got to be him. can spot him and if he's stopped running maybe we can put it maybe we can put a round into him I just I got really unlucky with that last part because he I was within like 20 or 30 yards of that hill that he came over and He just barreled over the top of it, and I was like, I don't think I have time to do anything with this. Where's that blood I saw? Is he... I think he probably ran. Wasn't there some blood over here? Oh, there it is. So yeah, we got him. He's bleeding. I heard him give out a warning. I think that I think he probably started running again. <laughs> huh. Okay, I'm gonna start running after him again. He's bleeding. But I don't know. I'll let you guys know if I catch up to him. The rabbit, I think. Let me get a okay, target of opportunity shot. The rabbit never actually tried to act, really run from me, so might as well grab it and get some rifle score out of it, right? Um, and then now I gotta find the bear trail again. Hmm. Oh, it did change my. Okay. I'll follow the bear track for a little bit, see if I can track him down. Otherwise, that'll probably... I'm not even going to go try to find that moose anymore. Okay, never found that black bear, but for the second time while tracking that black bear, found another deer on the way. So, I got a really crappy shot, but somehow she still bled out. It's money, it's experience points, it's better than nothing, it's starting to get late in the day in the game, and it's already starting to get late in the day for my recording. So, um, as much as I'd like to track down that moose and that black bear, I just, I don't have the patience for it anymore. So, unfortunately those scores are gonna, ha if those scores are gonna have to go, I don't even know if I killed the bear, there's no way for me to know. I, yeah, I killed something here and I killed something here, there was a deer here and a deer here, so I don't think I killed that bear. I mean, maybe that was the bear. Hmm. I don't know. But I've just, I've run out of patience for this hunt. So, sorry if that uh, bugs some of you. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, I am going to find something else to do. <laughs> uh, I will do this one. So now we have the health. Oh, that cost me money, didn't it? Did that just cost me money? Oh, well, I imagine next the next hunt will provide us with every. Th oh, Let's see if we can get another one. Probably not. Get off the terrain.
They all ran. Ah, I missed him. I'm out of... <laughs> okay. Uh, well, every time I try to be done, every time I try to, to just be done for the day, something pops up. So I guess I'll track these guys down. Never mind. All right. Well, here's one that we dropped, and it's not the one we're actively tracking. So... Got ourselves a... Bronze. Liver shot. Or stomach shot, sorry. Let's continue on. Oh, there's the other one. I don't. I think we only got two of them. But I mean, that's still that's pretty good for me. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to hit moving targets like that. Okay. Um. So that looks like it's just two. I don't think I got a third one. They all ran in this general direction, but I don't. I'm almost positive I didn't get a third one. Would have been nice. Would have been super nice if I had been able to get a third one. But from the map on the hunting pressure, it looks like I have one sh one that I shot, like one kill shot here and one kill shot here. And I don't see any like deeper pinks to make it seem like there was more that happened there. I may be reading the map wrong. That's certainly possible. But I don't see... I don't see, I don't see any more blood. I didn't see, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess I wouldn't be able to tell unless I went back. But I would imagine. Oh, I need to head back this way if I'm going to try to find any tracks. Uh, I might, I don't know. I don't really want to continue this any, any more than I already have. And there's a bear, another bear running away. Oh, the bears don't want to be around me. Yeah, I'm 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 almost positive I didn't get a third deer out of that. I know I shot at a third one, but I wasn't really able to get my I wasn't really able to get my weapon up in time to get a shot off, so I think we're gonna go ahead and call it there. Um but how much money do I have? Thirty-three thousand. Not quite enough to get that seven mil. But that but that does mean that we will definitely get it the next hunt that we do so be sure to come back next time so that you can uh see when we get that i'm gonna try uh, i am going to fast travel back to the lodge re-equip my character before we uh do all of that so if you enjoyed this hunt be sure to click that like button so the youtube algorithm Okay. I just heard a deer. He's r there. Are, they are just like throwing deer at me. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm. Like I'm trying to end the episode. Every time I try to end the episode, they throw another thing at me, and I just I like I have to go get it. They're just gonna put it right out there in front of me. I might as well. I think we got a heart shot on that. Okay, for serious, this is the last thing that we're doing. <laughs> Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you had a good time and pushes the video out to other member, other other viewers. Uh, okay, got him right in the oh, long shot. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you know when the next video comes out. And I do have a link to my Patreon in the description if you would like to help me turn this channel into a thriving online business. Thank you very much for your time, and I will see you for the next one.